Hi Pisces, how's it going? And welcome to your mid-March general reading. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you're interested in a Pisces, welcome all. I'm so glad that you're here and happy birthday to all of you Pisces that still have a birthday going on until we shift into Aries season. Um, thank you all so much for the birthday wishes. I'm not till Friday, but thank you so much. Y'all are so sweet. Pisces, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person that you're dealing with in love or in relationships right now. That reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, don't forget to stick around until the end of this reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It's completely at random as just my way to give back and say thank you for all of your support, okay? All right, Pisces, let's get into this. This is your general reading for mid-March, okay? Y'all know the drill. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, we've got two more. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Pisces? All right, my loves, we have the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Some of y'all are feeling very lonely and feeling like you're missing someone or missing some type of situation. Some of you feel, oh, I, I, I'm without that thing or that person or that or that group of people. Some of you are just feeling, um, I'm hearing on the outskirts. You're feeling like the lone wolf for some of you, okay? Let's get your message out. What's going on with Pisces? Yeah, we have the four of swords. Some of you are resting and taking your, taking your time to... I'm seeing really heal your heart, okay? Maybe some type of emotional situation that happened here. Let's see, we have the Six of Swords and the Three of Wands. Some of you might be waiting on a vacation. Some of you might be waiting on the arrivals, what I'm hearing, of somebody or for some situation to pan out and get better, okay? Because the Three of Wands is a waiting card. Um, I'm waiting for this person to come back. I'm waiting for this apology. I'm waiting for that project. I'm waiting for something to improve. I'm waiting for something to get better, okay? We have the King of Swords. Some of you could be connecting with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But I really feel this is about speaking your truth, speaking your mind. And I feel like some, I'm hearing sensitive situation, but if we come from a place of a king of swords energy, where we're, we're more logical and our, we get in our logical mind about whatever this is and we give ourselves time to rest, I will. I do see that we will find improvement. This situation will get better. I also feel like for some of you, you're waiting on specifically, um, it could be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but I feel like for some of you, you're like, mm, I'm waiting on them to get here or some type of move or transition, okay? What else is going on with Pisces here? Nice, ooh. Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So again, whatever's been going on, I'm hearing lackluster. Some type of situation that was lackluster is definitely moving forward. Karma, good fortune, your good deeds is what I'm hearing are panning out for you because you have the Wheel of Fortune landing in the right in the heart of your reading right now, Pisces, with the Six of Swords. So again, something is either getting better or for a lot of you, there's like a vacation or movement or travel involved, okay, that you've been waiting. It's like, I've been waiting on that vacation and it's finally here. That is a part of this coming in for some of you, but this is a bigger energy for a lot of you of um, waiting for something to pan out with someone or in some type of situation, okay? We have the Magician. We have the Strength card. Some of you could be connecting with a Leo. And we have the Ace of Wands. So I do feel a new beginning happening here that will lead to your Ten of Pentacles with someone in a situation, okay? But I do feel like there's a, a fresh start, a new start, an Ace of Wands. I'm hearing vroom, vroom, like a motorcycle, an engine, a car. So some of you might, um, especially with the Six of Swords, you might be, um, you know, and this is a very creative time right now, Pisces. So I feel like for a lot of you, you might be, you know, maybe fixing a car, working on a car. This might be a project. Something about cars is coming through here. Something that's been with the strength card. Or if it's not about cars, it's about movement or travel or transportation. I keep seeing like, tr like literally tra planes, trains, and automobiles. And I do know that there's a lot of places still shut down. Some things are opening back up. But let's see. Let's get your last card out here, Pisces. Ooh! 
cups, two of cups, two of cups, two of cups. Okay, we have the fool at the bottom of the deck and I love, I love the fool in this deck, how she has, she has a crystal in her hand and there's this beautiful pool of water with um, some sacred geometry with the flower right there. And she is just falling into this pool of love, of abundance, of emotion. And the fool represents spirit. It represents a fresh new start, a new journey for you, okay? And, and it's kind of like this last little week of Pisces season as before we get into Aries season. You know, that's the fresh start. That's, the, that's this fool energy, you know, starting something new, a new project, a new relationship, a new journey for yourself, a new a new career for some of you, but whatever this is, I feel like this is something that's been a long time coming. I feel for a lot of you, there's been, there's like mental health improvement. And for a lot of you, you might be with this King of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, Four of Swords and Six of Swords. I'm picking up a lot of, you know, I want to work on my mental health and I am working on my mental health. A lot of you are really opening back up Pisces into writing, journaling, okay? If that's been something that's lost for you or something that you want to pick back up, now is a great time to do that. I also feel here with the Strength card and the Ace of Wands, Pisces, that you do have something to say. Some type of the Strength card is representing right now like a struggle that you've been enduring for quite some time, okay? It, whenever that is for you, there is a new beginning here. So it could be a relationship, two of cups, you know, a long lost family member, a long lost partnership, a long lost friend. I do feel like there is passion between the two of you um, to come back together. But I'm also feeling a separate message for those of you that are true creators and like to truly be that Piscean, um, you're in that Piscean energy of expression and expressing yourselves. You know, I do feel like with this Four of Swords, like maybe getting through some type of dark night of the soul for some of you. I'm hearing the word depression, okay? I feel like we're coming out of that energy. The um, the sun is really getting really bright is like how they're showing it to me. Like y'all's energy within, like your solar plexus is just going boop, boop and getting like brighter and brighter and brighter. But with each within each one of you, it's like you're shining brighter right now because you have more confidence. You're able to understand something more clearly, communicate more clearly with someone or in a situation. And I want to give you a round of applause because spirit sees that good hard work that you've been doing, wanting to express yourself, say things the right way, communicate in the right way. That kind of energy is coming through. And they're saying, congratulations, Pisces, because of this hard work, you are moving forward. We also have the magician, three of wands and the two of cups. I do feel like for some of you, you've manifested a two of cups situation. This is your ending card here, okay? It's like we have the starting card of the four of swords, ending card, two of cups. This is you resting, waiting, and probably for a lot of you, mending your heart or mending a situation. It doesn't have to always be romantic about my boyfriend, about my girlfriend, about my husband, wife. It can be, but I do feel like for a lot of you, this has been something, a person or a personal maybe struggle that you've been dealing with that you're, you are now overcoming through your patience, through your willingness to, I'm hearing, surrender. I feel like for a lot of you, um, Ten of Swords popped in twice in the pre-shuffle. Um, and I was like, what is this? What is this? And it's like, again, this ending, this last little, the third deacon of Pisces is that really that final chapter of pretty much all of 2020 leading into 2021 where true airy season is like the, the, the new year, the fresh start. So really, if you want to think about like spring break and this last little part of Pisces, it's like kind of like um, it's like New Year's or New Year's Eve. What do I want to detach from 2020? What do I want to let go of um, that I haven't really let go of from 2020? It's that kind of energy here. And I feel like for a lot of you, you've surrendered to a lot of things you needed to surrender to. You've been patient where you've needed to be patient and you have truly manifested and called in. For a lot of you, self-love for yourself, which therefore turns everything around, Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Wands, it turns everything around where you want to pick up and go is what they're showing me. I've worked so hard on myself. I've been, I'm hearing, I've done my due diligence. I've done my homework. I've done my this, my meditations, my writing, my whatever it is that you do to help yourself care for yourself, love yourself. It's all so been playing in your favor so that you can move forward with this creative spark, okay? And I am hearing the word deserve. It's like you've been, it's been a long time coming that you deserve this love, this connection, okay? Woo, Pisces, let's break this down a little bit. Let's clarify, okay? Then we'll do the pick a card, okay? 
they do want me to pick up what was this okay real quick they said look at um the card underneath the fool and it's the three of cups so i do feel like for some of you it's like i'm falling back in i'm falling back in love with with yourself with possibly with someone else but this is about you you're you're this is you're the star of the show you are the star of like how we watch movies the main character is always you and your book and your show and your movie and your life and i don't know why they're showing it to me like that maybe some of y'all are about to get be on film or, or or be famous in that way or something but i do feel like and i would see definitely feel that here like something you've been working on a book a, a story something boom it's popping off now it's going to get signed now it's going to happen now but uh, I don't want to get too off track, but I do feel for a lot of you, there is a t uh, some type of connection and reunion with somebody. All right, let's look deeper into your Four of Swords here. A card of rest, a card of protecting yourself, a card of surrender, okay? Four of Swords. Why is this here for Pisces? It's a beautiful reading. Beautiful reading. As you're resting, as you are surrendering to ideas, situations, people that don't serve you and you're, I'm hearing mending your heart, you're getting the sun card. You're finding the happiest version of yourself. You are opening up. Um, I'm hearing, so this is like your spring, spring arrival <laughs> is what they're telling me. This is very, very good. It's like kind of coming out of the last little bit of hibernation. It's like you're finally out of that cave. I did what I needed to do. I got a stretch and boom, now I'm here. You know, it's like, Got to work out that last little kink. Okay. You know, it's like that last little. Mm. Ooh, Pisces. This is such a beautiful reading. Let's look at your six of swords. This is your improvement energy where things really are getting better for you mentally, mental health. I also feel like a head and heart connection has happened. And I also feel for a lot of you, this has been, I've been waiting for them or waiting for that to get here. The arrival. Okay. Six of swords. Why is this here for Pisces? We have the chariot. There is, is about movement. This is about movement, okay? We have the full card, the five of wands in reverse, the full in reverse, five of wands in reverse, chariot. Some of you definitely are connecting with a cancer. Um, but I do feel, again, room, room, engine, literal travel, movement, vacation, destination, big time. For a lot of you, this is something that you've been wanting to do. Like there's been a delay on... Either someone coming to be with you or you going to them for a connection, for a vacation, for something here. But with the five of wands in reverse, um, I kind of feel like uh, the plans weren't organized or, oh, the timing was off or something like that. But now that has worked itself out. Boom. We have found balance. Boom. We can move forward now. I'm, I'm hearing like, oh, I really wanted to go in February, but now I'm going in March. Or that person wanted to come in February, but now they're coming in March. So there was there was a delay and that delay is now over is what I'm picking up for whatever, whatever this is about here. Um, why is the three of wands here for Pisces? Yep, you knew it. Seven of wands to the 10 of pentacles. You know what you're waiting on, this person, this improvement. You've been defending it left and right. You will not give up on yourself. You will not give up on I'm hearing your voice, your king of swords, your ideas, everything that you've been going through. I feel like you are like, I'm not giving up on what I'm pushing for because what you're pushing for and waiting for leads to your 10 of pentacles, which is y'all, it's your everything card. Your 10 of pentacles is the connection, the career, the beautiful home, the lavish abundance, the love, being seen, being heard. That's really coming through right now being seen and being heard you're waiting for some of you you've been pushing and being defensive seven of wands is a defensive energy but you have every right to be defensive if you're not getting the respect and being seen by the people who you've been dealing with in the past if this is about other people for you you're like no i'm going to continue to be this way or whatever and that is the right thing to do you are being the more true and authentic that you truly are being to yourself it's always going in the right direction, Ten of Pentacles. Keep going, Pisces. Keep going. You're doing amazing. It may not feel like it sometimes because a lot of y'all probably are in the Six of Swords going to the Four of Swords energy. But as we play out the rest of Pisces season, I you will, oh my gosh, this is all going to change for you. King of Swords, why is this here for Pisces? 
Three of Cups. For some of you, again, this is a specific message. Of, it could be a water sign, air sign, it doesn't matter. Don't get too hung up on the signs of a reunion with someone, Eight of Cups in reverse, that is coming back to you. Could you could be going back to them? These are general. Please keep that in mind. Okay. I also feel like a clearing the air energy, like you and other people, you and a friend group, you and um, your partner, uh, you and some friends, however this is resonating, need to all be in a king of swords energy and a mature um, looking at the future. I can speak and say what I need to say in a mature way. Um, that's coming through here so that we all can, three of cups, come back together. Let's get one, anything else on this king of swords, nine of pentacles, seven of pentacles. King of Swords. Why is this King of Swords here for Pisces? Magician came out with the hangman. I do feel like um, I mean, there's been a little bit of a pride thing, like maybe between you and this person or situation. Um, you and the, like, if there's like maybe some friends or family members, I kind of feel like when this Nine of Pentacles came out, it's almost like like these people in the past could be I'm hearing jealous like they've been kind of um they've been kind of stuck in their energy that these other people have been stuck because they see you in this nine of pentacles energy is Pisces so I kind of feel like um there's like an improvement around a, a group of people or a person in particular that there could have been some jealousy over oh Pisces is doing really well financially and that that really hurts someone's self-confidence is what I'm feeling with that yeah ten of wands in reverse i feel like you put an ending um and stood your ground in this situation and the more you stand your ground the more it left this person like hanging out to dry is what they're giving me with the hangman like you left someone out to dry and not in a malicious or mean way but it's because you're like no i've worked for this i know what i'm doing i know what i'm talking about and someone i'm hearing challenge someone was like constantly challenging you and you had to keep going i'm i'm seeing like a Someone putting a cigarette out over and over like, nope, I quit. Nope, I won't do it again. Nope, I'm not. You, you Pisces are being very like stubborn and persistent about something really good that you've done. It's like for a lot of you, this is like a side message. Like maybe you quit smoking cigarettes or quit drinking or something like that from, you know, back in the day or whatever or recently. And I kind of feel like because of that, there was some type of... Um, it's like people saw you and you're like, oh, I cannot believe that they're like, their life is just getting better and better and better. And I feel like chatty, jealous energy around that. And it's only because those people can't um, up their game is what I'm hearing. Okay. Because you keep, you keep shutting it down. They keep showing like you keep shutting it down and that you're in the right place to manifest and you're doing the right thing. Pisces is what I keep hearing. Okay. Let's move forward. Anything on this uh, wheel of fortune? Nice. Two of swords popped up in reverse. So again, in the past, I do see that you and the situation were kind of in a stalemate energy, but now two of swords in reverse spirit or something. Yeah. You're able to boom, boom, like get up and go and move forward now because of this. And why is that? Why can Pisces move forward now? What's the advice there or the reason? <sighs> Hermit energy. Oh my, this is a huge round of applause. Some of you are directly dealing with a Virgo, but the reason why you've been able to get out of this, should I, shouldn't I, can't really make a decision about this, boom, why you're able to make a decision, why you're able to, you know, say something, speak up, make a choice, whatever this is, the reason why you're able to do that now is the reason I've been saying this the entire reading, hermit energy, you've prayed, you've meditated, you've done your journaling, you've done your, I'm coming back to me, I'm finding my internal power, I have all the answers from within, you know that because the magician is already on the table and I feel like again, because you've done your due diligence, your homework, you, you're on this way higher vibration right now and some people are, you know, I kind of feel like for some of you, you're kind of, yeah, cutting your losses. Hey, if you don't want to see me shine, if you don't want to respect me, you know, bye. Because there's other people, there's other people, not these three cups over here, but these two cups over here, there's other people that do want to see you. I keep seeing that again. There's other people that want to 
respect you and do appreciate your light, okay? Because I do just overall feel like a, in the past, like you were dealing with a huge lack of respect, major time. Why is the magician here for Pisces? You have the magician twice. Okay, we have the wheel in reverse. Why is the magician here for Pisces? Anything else on this magician, please? Moon in reverse. Yeah, so I kind of feel like you had to take a huge risk is what, I'm take, is what I'm feeling here. Yeah, you put an offer out to something. You took a risk because you're able to see clearly now in a situation. And I kind of feel like you saw, I'm hearing like the, the term, thank you, spirit. They're saying like you, you, it's almost like you saw someone's true colors. It's like basically I'm trying to say Pisces like you did something great or you're doing something great and there's a certain group of people family friends could be a partner could be co-workers whatevs they are not only jealous but they are thank you spirit they keep reminding me they're like they keep showing you their true colors over and over and over again and I kind of feel like Pisces, you're able to have the confidence now to speak on that, whatever this is for you. And that's what's changing your karma and changing all of this to, to work out in your favor. It's like you're it's like kind of like the veil has been lifted for you for real. The veil is very, very thin all the time for Pisces anyways, but it's almost like the veil is almost not even there and y'all's third eyes and crown chakras are completely awake, awake and every single person and thing that you see, it's like you can see it all. You can see the light and the dark in everyone. You can see, you know, the things that are dark in someone. You can see that the things that are in light in someone, you can see that. Why? Because you've done that work on yourself. I love y'all. Y'all are amazing. Strength card. Why is this here for Pisces? We have the Queen of Wands in reverse. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you, um, if you're specifically dealing with a fire sign, I kind of feel like I'm hearing back burner. Like you're like, no, no back burner. We have the lover's card. And we have the five of swords in reverse. So beautiful. I do feel like um, five of pentacles in reverse. I do feel like this is someone that relates. It's like a, almost like we're coming down now into a full connection, almost relationship vibes where I kind of feel like there's been someone in a connection. I'm, he I'm hearing this is hitting way more close to home, a family member, a lover, partner, relationship energy here with someone that it's been off and on. They're showing me with the strength card. It's up, it's down, it's off, it's on, it's light, it's dark. It's been a little bit of that, okay? Because of this Queen of Wands energy, there's been attitude, there's been some type of anger um, kind of energy here, five of swords in reverse, two people not seeing eye to eye on something. Um, so this is a chosen partnership here. Okay. But I do see that five of pentacles in reverse. I feel like you're coming out of the dark with someone in a situation. Beautiful. Could be them. Could be you. Why is the ace of wands here for Pisces? Yeah, we have the emperor and the ace of pentacles in reverse. I kind of feel like this is a huge offer from your divine masculine that is waiting to be offered to you, but only when you find the spark. It's like spirit is almost waiting for you to kind of find your spark again, find that full light again, so that you can align either. Also for some of you, emperor and the ace of pentacles, that's gonna be a new um, position, a new job. That's also going to be that story, that thing that you need to say, get out, the book, the movie, the blah, the whatever. I'm just using those as general things. It's like when it comes out, it's like it puts you in emperor energy. It puts you in this like high boss energy with a new income. This is huge, Pisces. All right, let's look at your two of cups. Why is the two of cups here for Pisces? Okay, we have the four of wands at the bottom of the deck. We have the eight of swords in reverse. Very, very good. We have the judgment card over the four of pentacles. So for a lot of you, this is a huge decision to honestly, if you break it down, to get out of your head. Eight of swords is self-created, kind of self-sabotage energy where, you know, we don't take action on something because we've kind of overanalyzed so much to where, oh, now I'm frozen. That makes sense now. That explains your two of swords. Some of you were just overthinking a situation and really just needed to get back in tune with you, okay? To come, I'm hearing, 
back in alignment with someone four of pentacles is matching the seven of wands a connection or even a version of you that you've been defending and protecting this entire time it's like it's like you're truly like no masks no nothing you're truly i'm just hearing out and loud and proud either you and yourself or you and some type of beautiful connection here bottom of the deck we have the four of wands matching with the full card so this is a new opportunity for connection this is a new opportunity for um a soulmate connection for a lot of you so that is absolutely a beautiful gorgeous reading pisces i hope that y'all enjoy okay let's do y'all's pick a card <laughs> Woo! i'm gonna grab some water real quick real quick Okay, Pisces, so the person who won the pick a card this time is Gina Perry. Gina Perry, you are my winner this time. Congratulations. So Pisces, if you want me to pick your card next time, just make sure you're subscribed to this channel and leave your name in the comment section down below. And next time I might pick you. I pick y'all completely at random as my way to say thank you. And those of you that like to do the love reading where we connect with the other person that you're dealing with in love or in relationships with right now, that reading is always in the uh, first link in the description box below, okay? All right, Gina Perry, how are you, my love? Gina, thank you so much for being a subscriber. They're saying three more for you. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages at this time? For Gina Perry, she's a Pisces. For Gina Perry, she's a Pisces. These messages are for Gina. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit, this is for the best and highest good for Gina Perry. Pisces energy. Thank you, Spirit. Girl, you have the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Beautiful. You could be connected to a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. But I kind of feel like you are I'm just hearing the word lavish. Like you have everything you need. Um, you don't really need anything. Like you, you know, the home feels good. Like you have nice clothes. Um, like you're eating lovely, um, like rich foods. Um I just feel like a really, and I'm really looking also the bunny rabbit. I know it's spring is right around the corner, but I kind of feel like you're also in this planning energy, planning for spring, planning, um, planning to plant your garden, um, that kind of vibe. Like, what am I going to do with my spring energy? What kind of new things am I going to invest in? And I also, I just love, I love that queen of pentacles. It's like a huge message for you. All right, Gina Perry. Like I said, big seeds are coming here. So you have the Ace of Pentacles, a new opportunity coming here with the High Priestess. It's like, you already know. They're saying that's confirmation for you. Something intuitively that you know that's like a, a gift or a talent that you have. Um, Gina, you're a Pisces. I'm going to say we because I'm a Pisces. We are insanely creative. And when we put that cre creativity and we can match it into something um, into a talent, to a skill, to where, you know, you can express yourself. I kind of feel like you already know what that is. It's like you have a gift, you have a talent, and it's very special. And I kind of feel like it's ready to, ready to blossom and it's ready to shine. Gina Perry, what's your message? You have the King of Pentacles with the Nine of Cups right behind that. So again, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, um, someone you could be connecting with. But I also feel like, I also feel like how we saw the Queen of Pentacles and now the King of Pentacles with the Ace and the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment energy. I mean, I can't stop smiling for you. I kind of feel like this is also a connection. Like maybe you're a Queen of Pentacles, very independent maybe looking for someone, okay? And when spring rolls around, they're saying something about spring, like in airy season, March 21st or after, like, which is really in like this, this weekend, like in a week. It's like uh, there might be an offer from this King of Pentacles that is like something that you're wishing for. It's like you've been wanting this person to come into connection with you. And I'm seeing like a fulfillment, like I'm seeing a 10 of Pentacles for you, okay? And if not... um. I also kind of feel, again, like you have something to offer this King of Pentacles. It kind of could go either way. Anything else that we have for Gina Perry, King of Swords, is your advice they're saying? 
Um, just, just to whatever this is about that you be, will be able to, I kind of am feeling like a nervous energy from you. Like you're nervous to say this, nervous to announce this, whatever this is that, um, that you can't, you can do it is what they're saying. Anything else? Gina Perry, five of cups with the seven of swords. And we have the judgment card with that. <clears throat> so I kind of feel like whatever this is, you are a little bit like nervous or scared. Um, and this is where we're ending. This said stop. So we're on the death card, which is transformation energy. I kind of feel like you're a little bit nervous. What that's about is something like you were disappointed emotionally because you found out that someone might have been dishonest with you in the past or just weren't really, they were a little bit hiding something. So I kind of feel like once that is out in the open and cleared, okay, I, I feel like this will all come together for you. I'm also feeling this energy of you kind of have to ask, like speak up to this King of Pentacles, like, hey, you know, before we move forward and have this new beginning again, which is what we both want, is what I'm hearing, um, I need to make sure that you're not going to, I'm hearing fail me again, but you're not going to disappoint me again, okay? And you're nervous, but they're saying to just get in that King of Swords energy. I'm also hearing for you specifically, um, maybe to try meditating, um, like if you have your own deck, or even if you don't have your own deck of cards, if you can pull up on your phone an image of the King of Swords and in a meditation, meditate with that King of Swords energy. And I really feel like they're they're helping you open your crown chakra so that you will have the best information ready to um, address the situation. Because other than this past scare kind of situation, everything else is really falling into line um, with this person in the situation. And a huge wish fulfillment is coming through for you, Gina. This is absolutely beautiful. I hope that you love this reading. And if there's anyone else still here, I love y'all. Happy birthday, Pisces. And I will catch y'all next time. Bye.